Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the tutorial. And this, I think, is uh, video six. Now, uh, last time we were working on the the result set. Okay, we were just displaying the, the details for the uh, previous button, which should have been the next button. Sorry. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so if you have this inside your previous button, uh, just uh, take it out and put it into your next button. Okay, we're gonna develop a different uh, type for the previous button, okay? So inside the next button, it's gonna do this. It's gonna check to see if the details is not null and if the detail has an X. If it does, then it's gonna display the next details and so on, okay? So for our previous, we're gonna do exactly the same, okay? So if you want, you can copy and paste to try and catch our, oh, in here copy and paste that and then what you can do is uh, if you come down to here instead of saying next you say previous okay and you know you just check if it's not null and if it does contain previous then you do this okay so there's really not much difference there it's all pretty much the same and I'm just gonna format the, the file Okay, and then, then when you have that, um, okay, when you have that, then uh, go back to the add details activity. Now remember we had a display button, but we never really done anything with it. Okay, so now we're gonna create an intent. Okay, we're gonna add an intent that we can navigate to. So intent. I is equal to new intent and then this will be uh, add details activity dot this and then this will be display activity dot class okay and import the intent class and then we're going to say start activity and we're going to start i and then after that i just say finish okay so the reason why we say finish is because uh once we like once we run our app this activity start first okay and when this activity starts Whatever, like when we fit around the stuff, we usually call the uh, DB helper. Okay. Once the DB helper start running, uh, it's gonna stay there unless uh, we finish up with this activity. Okay. So to finish up with with this activity, we usually type in finish. So that will dispose the activity and saying that we're finished with it. We're not gonna do anything with it. Okay. So. When we're going to the display activity, we don't want to have another instance of the DB helper running in the background. Okay, so that's why we need to run. Uh, we need to add this finish method. Okay. So once you have that done, then I'm guessing you're ready to test it out. Okay, so go ahead and uh, now. I think my Jenny motion crashed. Okay, so um, I'm gonna have to run this again. I'll close that. No, I don't want you to check for a solution. You never have any solution for people, man. Stop. This is what I don't like about Windows. It's always said uh, checking for a solution, but then it comes up with no solution. Okay, so refresh. It won't allow me to start it because I think it's already running. So let's see. Uh, let's close that. I think I have to close it for my virtual box. Yeah, it's already running from the virtual box, so I need to close it. Uh, I'm gonna do a shutdown. 
Yeah. Okay, as soon as this shorts down, I should be able to start it all again. Okay, it won't show down. I'm just gonna click power off. There we go. Okay, so let's start that one up again. Just gonna pause the video until Jenny Motion starts. Okay, guys, I uh, managed to get Jenny Motion working again. So let's test the app. Now, this time we're only gonna test the display, so we're not gonna add anything. But if you don't have uh, information in your database, then uh, you might come across a few problems. But uh, and to solve that problem is just to add, you know, to add the details. If you have details already stored into your database, then it shouldn't be a problem. Okay. So I'm going to click on display. And then that should load the next activity. And then you see once it loads the next activity, it's saying get details already. And then that gets all the details. And if I click next, you see we have there. The first detail, if I click next again, we get the next person, the third person, third, you know, and so on until you reach the end, and then you go to previous. Now, obviously, the previous is not working. Uh, let's see what error am I getting. What does it say? After end the result sets. Okay, so it seems to be working. It just uh, when you reach the last element, you have to like double uh, double tap on the on the previous button in order to go back to the previous. And if you reach the the first element, you have to double tap on the Y. Uh, that's probably something that we can have a look at maybe later on or something. Uh, but it does really affect that the app is working and the database is connected as well. So if you have that, then that's great. Uh, now, uh, another thing that we need to do is uh, whenever we whenever we call the display met, uh, the display activity, uh, it always displays the the field as empty. So we need to correct that. Okay. So if you go to your display activity uh, Java file. And go down to where you have the uh, your get details class. Okay. Now, uh, right after the uh, on post post execute. Okay. Where you have your if statements for if the detail is next. Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to go back up here and uh, just copy this guy. Okay inside the next button just copy that guy and put him inside in here okay just right there so next time when it uh, gets all of our details okay it should automatically display the first element okay so let's give that a try Okay, so if you click on display, we're gonna get this, it's loading, loading, and then bam, we have our first element, and then we can just navigate from there. 
Okay. All right. And uh, just one last thing before we finish up. Now, if you go back to your your display, uh, your activity display uh, XML layout, we're just going to add one more button, and uh, that button would allow us to go back to the Add menu. And uh, we can add details. So add okay, and change the text to uh, add BTN. Okay, save that. Now go back to your display activity. Java file and go back to the top and just up to the buttons. You say add button, and here you're going to say add button is equal to button find view by ID. Okay, and we want to say r .id add btn. And it's BTM with the lowercase, I assume. Okay, I just have to make this a bit more distinct. So it's add BTN underscore. Okay, so that add BTN underscore, and then after you just say add button that set on click listener let me say new oh, it's very slow uh, new on click listener Uh, add unimplemented met methods, and then here we're going, going to say intent i is equal to new intent, and we're going to say uh, this, and we're going to say add detail activity the class. Import star and uh, sorry, model just say uh, display display activity uh, this we say start activity I finish okay and then that will allow us to go back to the add menu and we just add more and then we go back and display again add more come back and display again and so on now uh, just so you know this is a very basic level of connecting to it like there are other things other uh, precaution that you should be taking when doing this okay uh, you can find more details about this online but just for the purpose of this tutorial like uh, we're just doing a simple connection straight through you know and we're not going to worry about the precautions okay so if you click run So if we go to display, uh, 
says gallery details yeah, details if you click add it should bring us back to the ad menu back to the ad menu we can say add Kevin uh, Kevin John age 50 height 1 uh, 76 and say add and that's added if you go to display you can then search for Kevin John go to next next uh, next 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 there we go Kevin John age 50 and there so that was the last thing that we added And uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just uh, make sure you leave your comments down below and I'm going to try and answer them. Alright, thank you for watching.